Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Legendary V19 here, with yet another one of these games with Azerlin G. Payoff. And this time we're gonna do it differently, like I said last time, we did it with a normal commander, and with a Kuznets of somebody, and this time we're gonna try the actual commander G. Payoff with her special skill, Madden and Mimbelli for more reload, not too much range, we're gonna use uh, the booster of flags for those type of things, we're gonna use some speed, has a little bit of everything, and extra heals, extra sonar and radar just in case we're gonna need them. And as a inspiration is gonna help us mostly on the reload, because as you see we're gonna use the uh, that reload booster thing that we grind for so long and I decided to put on Chipayev and not like any other person that will use it probably on a Colbert or something like that because I don't think those type of boosters they made for something that already has a very quick reload because after all it's a percentage so if you have 3%, 3 second reload what's the point to go into 2.8 or whatever but if you have something like a Chipaya with almost 6 or 7 second reload, it's going to go down to 5. And that's a big difference. That's a 2 seconds difference instead of 0. Point something that you get usually when you already have a very decent reload, which most of the high tiers, they, they should have that. But of course, you can use it on any ship you like. This time I'm going to use it on as a lean ship I have and I've been using it on that ship for from the first day I got the ship actually. And we're going to see what's going to happen once we get it to the maximum. We're not going to push too much into the caps. The team is going to do not the best but a decent job of holding them. Uh, here there's two Vanguard in division and... I guess it's my fault not looking that both of them they want to have fun with me I don't know please help me okay I'm gonna just just try to get away from them because I don't want to get caught because that's a very very big problem about the Chipayev it's like any other or except the Ochako of course that's something that you're gonna struggle to kill more than usual but something like a Chipayev, just get your full salvo and there you go, disappears, back to port, no, no more HE spam. But here as we see we are on the map Heaven and usually I like to call it Hell because when we play Cruiser we are about to make it Hell. But in this, in this specific game we're not going to do that, we're actually going to end up only with 5 fires because... The Azerlin Chipayev has a special perk that increases the HE damage by a lot, but decreases the fire chance, which means you're not going to get fires like most of the time you get when you play Cleveland or Mains or any other of those type of cruisers. And I don't hate it, to be honest. I don't hate it. I feel like it's a little bit more of a... It's not exactly a pay to win captain, it's more, I, I see it more like a, like a balanced thing, you know what I mean? Like, you get that reload, and it's very good, and then you get the fire damage, but the fire chance comes and goes, like, you don't need those 10 fires to do well, you actually can do well without the fires, you just have to know where to shoot, I guess. And I don't really know if I ever used AP on this game because most of the time we're gonna spend it on the outside. Which I know it's better ways to play a ship like that, but it's not the most agile. It's not the most agile cruiser out there, which it's fine. Not every cruiser it's meant to be agile, and just because it's not agile doesn't mean it's bad. I'm saying it because there is someone out there that believes if something is not agile enough for him, he's not going to play the game anymore or that ship is boring. Well, let me tell you something, life is boring, alright? So, there is 
things in life that some people may enjoy and things in life that some people find it boring and the same works for that game somebody likes to get in a vanguard and just sit broadside and whatever just kite away and somebody likes to sit in a vanguard and just move forward and do his job and you know tank more damage because you have me as a kiter we don't need you to kite away as well but who knows who what gets on the mind of uh, vanguard but I was a little bit frustrated because he was on my way and I'm trying to make my way back into the caps because already they lost the destroyer so we're gonna be okay and I gotta get closer to make sure that the enemy destroyer it's close enough for me to use the radar but it doesn't look like it is because we have the twisting truck and we can rely on that telling us that okay the closest enemy is actually in front of us and that's probably above, I don't know, maybe 13 kilometers, which is going to make me not use my radar yet, because the DD is further away than that. But we're going to do our best to survive. For now, they don't have anything in distance to spot me, except right now in Georgia. But it's alright, Georgia. I'm not on your mind, you're not on mine, so we're just going to do our best not to get hit because Georgia needs like one salvo and if the RNG works on his side it's not gonna be too hard to delete you and get you back to port but nonetheless we still just start the game trying to just reposition repositioning your ship it's it can be challenging a lot of times in the game but if you manage to do that I believe it's gonna benefit your team and yourself as well and not uh, complaining about why the team is basically losing and I don't know like I always try when I get into the game to be ready that the enemy is gonna do the best to win and my team they're gonna do the best to basically throw the game and once you accept that you're gonna have a little bit more fun and I try to accept that the last few I guess the last two months maybe one month and when i stream i don't rage as before it comes like and goes once in a while but i start to accept that me complaining about uh, teammates and stuff is not gonna change anything not hate messages because i just like to even send ggs to an enemy ship like if i see someone do over let's say a 4000 game and i'm on the blue team he's on the red team and he accepts my messages i'm gonna do it i mean like i said before we are a big community and we fight each other if and especially if i see someone i know and he fights me go for it let's see what's up let's see who is gonna be the better man this time because in the end of the day it's mostly on you and not on the ship you're using like right now we got that destroyer out of the way we help our destroyer to survive he's not doing the best thing in the world sitting so far away from the caps but we have another one destroyer right on their home cap that they had and he's gonna do a pretty pretty good job of just making everybody in the enemy team just going back and forget about us and uh, a ship that we had behind us a destroyer and that's gonna give us enough enough time to just reposition and find better targets to hit that here we kind of get lucky because that was just a rudder gone and once again like i said before vanguard doesn't have enough space in the map so for me to go right and left dodge ship uh, dodge the shells it was kind of a I don't know annoying because one vanguard is not enough they have to be two even though i think one of them is gone down it must be the same thing that these guys might be doing for the missions that requires to have a british battleship so i'll, I'll get that it's okay sometimes we play ships that we don't like to play but we need for the mission so I really hope that those uh, legendary skills, or I don't know if exactly they call legendary skills, we'll see, because there is more about to come in the future, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm not sure if 
everybody just managed to take them. I still heard people out there struggling to have them till this day. They're like, oh, I'm still working on that one, on that one. And I don't know, like it took me two weeks, maybe less than that to have them because I dedicated a day or two maximum on those type of things. And then I just moved on and it's not like I have no life. I do 10 hours per every day at work and then I come tired home, eat my dinner and back to ships. And that's how we go. Uh, it feels weird not touching grass for a long time, but it is what it is. So, for now, it's still okay. Sitting at 70,000 damage, not too much, but we still have a lot to go. Don't worry, the game is not over yet. It's gonna get a little bit closer than what it should be, but eventually our team is gonna be just fine. For now, just keeping our distance, we don't want to get hit either by Georgia or New Jersey, because New Jersey for some reason, I don't think it's only the special commander that gives you more damage if you are more than 10 kilometers away, but in general, New Jersey has something probably similar to Iowa, the shells are too heavy or something, because it feels different when you get hit by New Jersey than something else like a Richelieu or something, you know what I mean? When you are in in a battleship at least, because that's when you can survive more shots and actually see the difference how it is to get shot by this guy. There you go, the booster just goes up and up and up and the reload is gonna get better and better and have a amazing reload, 5 point something seconds and amazing HE alpha strike that's gonna help us be more valuable for the team and put a little bit more fires even though we're gonna get one last fire and that's gonna be for the rest of the game it's gonna be basically guns only and HE damage Crucial Ludo, somehow he just gone down for no health, we're gonna take advantage of that, get rid of him as fast as possible before we allowed him to shot, and there you go, he's down. Yeah, we're gonna just continue our journey, we are here just for testing, we're not here to impress anybody, like I said, I know there's better ways to play that ship on people that they know how to play cruisers much much better than I do. I'm more of a hybrid player. I like to play a little bit of everything, mostly battleship and destroyers and the cruiser type of ship I kind of started too late in the game so it took me a while to get used to just keep dodging and even without agile build even though I, I used a little bit of steering for that ship because I know I'm gonna open fire so I didn't really I didn't really care about the concealment and stuff, because why would I care if I'm not a type of ship that I'm gonna have to go in the caps or something like that, so I'm gonna find myself sitting on the outside most of the time, like any other Chipayev, of course. But if I have to, I can get close if I have to. It depends on the situation, because we all know if there is a battleship and you're just gonna rush him, it's guarantee that you gonna go back to port no matter what it happened to me before i was just testing the armor of the ship and i'm like okay let's see can i get close enough to just torp this battleship and no i cannot do it because you one salvo away and it's guarantee at least four or five city tiles from a battleship maybe less than that and you go back to port simple as that but as you see, the more reload we got, the more the damage was going up faster and faster. It's that's the problem here that we didn't have too many ships to shoot for long. They just keep disappearing and appearing and just go back and forward again. Uh, the spotting was kind of bad, but it's okay. We have the destroyer that was sitting on the outside, finally going back into the cap, changing the outcome, outcome of the game making sure the points are st staying up because at some point I was feeling like I'm gonna get caught by the battleship so I was doing my best to help as much as I can 
the Edinburgh eventually is gonna come back, so that's on him. Iowa almost full health, so let's see what we can do to uh, mm, at least 70% health Iowa with all plus 4 reload. And I believe it's gonna get plus uh, 3, 4, no, not yet, okay. Can I get a little bit more, but there you go, our teammate also pick up a high caliber, we pick high caliber and confederate as well, I think he was almost at the same time, if not uh, one after another, but we managed to do it, that means we help the team of 20% of the enemy HP and 40% for uh, 4 enemies, so we helped as much as we could only with HE without any fire chance and the damage just goes up and up and up and as you see is just on the maximum so that's gonna be at least 5.2 uh, or 3 I, I it's just difficult to see because how oh, quick yeah 5.4 5.4 on a ship that can have an insanely alpha strike of HE power Iowa goes down, of course, because our team was focusing on Iowa as well. We are not the only ones shooting. And that's going to be the Iowa gun. There you go. And it's currently the win for our team. Few more seconds, but nothing the enemy team can do. But whatever. It is what it is. We didn't have to use, I believe, any other radar or sonar. We are mostly out of sight of almost everything, just relying on the team to spot. We're gonna do better next time. I was just here because I promised I'm gonna have a game that we're gonna showcase the difference between having the Chupayev commander and not having the Chupayev commander and also as a bonus using the reload booster and we got it to the maximum and it was a really, really fun game. I believe we can do better than that in another game in the future if we have more spots from my teammates because i was solo in this one and it was kind of a struggle but hey there you go we have a nicey juicy game 16 defense that's a lot of them 170k 3500 and it was a nice to see you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you up next time have a good one